Recent astronomical research has unveiled that approximately 14 million years ago, during the Miocene epoch, our solar system traversed a colossal galactic structure known as the Radcliffe Wave. This monumental event may have had profound implications for Earth's climate and evolutionary trajectory. In this video, we will understand this discovery, explore the science behind it, and understand its significance. Imagine a colossal, undulating ribbon of gas and dust stretching across 9,000 light years of the Milky Way. This is the Radcliffe Wave, one of the most intriguing galactic structures ever discovered. Unlike the spiral arms of the Milky Way that astronomers have long studied, the Radcliffe Wave moves in a coherent wave-like motion, comprising multiple well-known star-forming regions, including Orion, Taurus, and Perseus. It is located just about 500 light years away from our solar system at its closest point, making it an essential feature of our galactic neighborhood. The discovery of the Radcliffe Wave was announced in January 2020 by a team of astronomers using data from the European Space Agency's Gaia mission. Gaia's precise mapping of stellar positions and motions allowed researchers to construct an unprecedented three-dimensional model of interstellar matter, revealing this massive gas structure. What made this discovery groundbreaking was that, before Gaia, scientists believed star-forming regions were distributed randomly or aligned along the Gould Belt, a hypothesized ring of star formation surrounding the solar system. The Radcliffe wave overturned that view, showing that these regions are part of a larger, oscillating formation. Why does this matter? Studying such structures gives us insight into the forces shaping our galaxy. The wave-like pattern suggests that gravitational interactions, possibly with spiral arms, dark matter, or even past supernova explosions, may have sculpted the Radcliffe wave. Our solar system is constantly moving, orbiting the Milky Way's center approximately every 230 million years. Throughout this journey, it encounters different cosmic environments, from empty voids to dense molecular clouds. One of the most fascinating revelations from recent research is that between 14.8 and 12.4 million years ago, our solar system passed directly through a dense region of the Radcliffe wave specifically, the Orion Star Forming Complex. This finding was determined using Gaia data and spectroscopic observations. Scientists traced the movement of star clusters within the Radcliffe Wave and compared them with the reconstructed past trajectory of the solar system. The analysis showed that during the Miocene epoch, our solar system was within this dense region, possibly altering the conditions in the interstellar medium around it. What does this mean? Passing through the Radcliffe Wave's denser regions would have increased the amount of interstellar material the solar system encountered. The heliosphere, the magnetic shield formed by the solar wind, could have been compressed due to external pressure from this dense gas. A more compact heliosphere means more interstellar particles, including dust and cosmic rays, could have entered the solar system, potentially impacting planetary atmospheres, including Earth's. This discovery connects our solar system's galactic journey with changes in the interstellar environment. While space might seem like an empty void, it is filled with interstellar gas, dust, and radiation that can influence planetary climates and even evolutionary processes over millions of years. The passage of our solar system through the Radcliffe wave isn't just a fascinating astronomical event. It may have had significant effects on Earth's climate. One of the key consequences could have been the influx of interstellar dust. If the heliosphere was compressed due to the increased density of the surrounding interstellar medium, more cosmic dust and isotopes like Iron-60 may have made their way into Earth's atmosphere. Why is this significant? The period of the solar system's passage through the Radcliffe Wave coincides with a major climatic event on Earth, the Middle Miocene Climate Transition. During this period, around 14 million years ago, 
Earth experienced a shift from a warm, variable climate to cooler conditions, leading to the expansion of Antarctic ice sheets. The primary driver of this shift is thought to be decreasing atmospheric CO2 levels, but the role of increased interstellar dust cannot be ignored. Cosmic dust has the potential to influence Earth's climate by affecting atmospheric chemistry, cloud formation, and radiation balance. If an increased amount of interstellar dust entered the atmosphere, it might have contributed to climatic changes by seeding clouds or altering how sunlight was absorbed and reflected. Additionally, traces of Iron-60, a radioactive isotope produced in supernova explosions, could have been deposited in Earth's geological records, offering a potential marker for studying past interstellar interactions. Beyond Earth's climate, this discovery also has broader implications for understanding cosmic interactions with planetary systems. Interstellar dust carries essential elements, including carbon, oxygen, and other building blocks of life. The influx of such materials could have played a role in biological evolution by influencing environmental conditions or even delivering essential molecules to Earth's surface. A similar discovery that provides insight into the effects of interstellar interactions is the local bubble, a vast, low-density cavity in the interstellar medium surrounding our solar system. The local bubble is believed to have formed due to multiple supernova explosions over the past 10 to 20 million years. Like the Radcliffe wave, the local bubble has influenced the interstellar conditions around our solar system altering cosmic ray exposure and affecting the entry of interstellar material. Scientists believe that the local bubble has played a role in shaping the distribution of nearby star-forming regions and influencing the solar system's exposure to radiation. Additionally, this finding opens new doors for understanding habitability in exoplanetary systems. If interstellar dust influx can influence planetary climates, similar processes may be relevant for exoplanets orbiting other stars. Understanding how planetary atmospheres respond to interstellar conditions could help scientists assess the potential habitability of exoplanets in dynamic galactic environments. The implications of this research extend beyond historical climate change. If interstellar dust influxes can influence planetary climates, then similar processes could be relevant when studying exoplanetary atmospheres and the habitability of distant worlds. While current technology may not yet be sensitive enough to fully analyze these effects, future advancements in space observation and isotope detection could reveal more about how interstellar conditions shape planetary environments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cosmic discoveries. Stay curious, keep exploring, and join us again for more insights into the mysteries of the universe.